dear students and i welcome back all for our science class yesterday in our last class we have started with a new unit called organ system and in organ system we are learning about the various organ systems i just gave introduction about from which the organ system is made up of from which the organ systems are made up of organs organs are made up of tissues tissues are made up of cells and the cells are the smallest unit of our human body in organ systems we have learned there are four types of organ system what are they digestive system respiratory system circulatory system and excretory systems in today's class we can learn about digestive system what is digestion for what we need this digestive system anybody knows for what we need this digestive system consider you are get up in the morning uh, many people will do some work Our mother is working in from the morning she start she will start with cooking and she does some work we will play or we will run we will walk here and there and we will do our duties bathing coming to school how we are doing this we need a energy to do all this right we all need energy to do all this works this energy from where we are getting we get this energy from the food we eat so we have to eat healthy foods this food uh, consider you are eating idli um, afternoon lunch night something for dinner then snacks banana fruits vegetables many things you are eating how this food is converted into energy if we are eating through our mouth how it is coming as energy to our legs hand that is digestion digestion helps us to get energy the system used for digestion is called digestive system here i have drawn a simple digestive system you just have a look at this the uh, any system has many organs right if you consider any organ system it has some organs in digestive system also we have various organs we can see one by one the organs that is coming under the digestive system organs and its functions first one is you have consider you have what it be you will put it in the mouth what's happening in the mouth that is the first part of the digestive system how mouth helps in digestion what we are doing in the mouth we put the food and we will chew it right we will break that food into smaller into smaller size what happens when we break this food what happens to the food it is changing into smaller size which organ is helpful in chewing yeah very good teeth in the mouth we have teeth right we chew the food using this teeth and to soften this food what the food we uh, put it inside our mouth is softened using a, a secretion from our mouth saliva saliva you know a fluid called saliva secretes in our mouth and it is useful to soften the food we are eating through our mouth now the food is broken and it is softened using the saliva now what happens and the food is in the mouth next 
it will slowly enter into the food pipe this is the food pipe it's a thin tube like structure it is called food pipe what is the first organ it is mouth the second one is food pipe what does this food pipe do for us it will take the food from mouth to what is this stomach a sac like structure it is called stomach the food enters into the stomach now the broken food is in the stomach the food has entered into the stomach in stomach what happens what happens in stomach what happens to this food in stomach again this food is broken down into very smaller substances how it is happening means the wall of this stomach this outer lining of this stomach stomach secretes some digestive juice it will secrete some digestive juice this juice will mix with this food and the food is broken down into smaller substances what is the function of the stomach the food we eat enters into the stomach through the food pipe here the the sac like structure the sac like structure is called stomach the stomach wall secrete some digestive juice this digestive juice mixes with the food entering into the stomach and it is broken down into smaller substances now this food enters into this is nothing but small intestine this this is small intestine see this it is small intestine this one more time from here till this it is small intestine front of stomach the smaller substances enters into the small intestine what is happening in small intestine in small intestine what happens mean the broken food when it enters into the small intestine the blood will take all the nutrients like calcium protein vitamins etc from this food this the small intestine gives the nutrients to the blood this blood takes all the nutrients from the digested food and the undigested food the unwanted things will enter into the large intestine this is nothing but large intestine this is large intestine now the food enters into the large intestine and the undigested food is given out through anus as feces what is the waste or undigested food given out through feces it is called feces so this is the process of digestion from mouth to anus and in between there is a organ called liver it is playing an important role in digestion what is the role of liver the liver secretes many digestive juice okay when it, the digestion is completing it should be the food should be broken down into smaller particles it is possible only with the digestive juices so this liver has many digestive juices it will give this juices for digestion it is a function of this liver so once again i will repeat listen the mouth is the first organ the food enters here the teeth chews the food then it enters into the food pipe then from the food pipe it is entering into a sac like structure called the stomach from the stomach using the digestive juices secreted from the stomach wall 
the food is being grind and it is given into small intestine small intestine then the food is passing through small intestine all the useful materials from this food is being absorbed by the blood for example protein calcium vitamins minerals all the required uh, things enters into the blood and the remaining undigested food enters into the large intestine and it is given out through uh, rectum as feces so did you understand about this digestive system that's all for today's class in next class we can go for the next organ system it is respiratory system what's respiratory system it is nothing but breathing taking in oxygen and giving off carbon dioxide it is called respiratory system we can see about this respiratory system in our next class today your work is what you have to do is you have to write like this a column have to write it in the uh, science note in the first row you have to write digestive system in the second row you have to divide this into two columns in the first column you should write organs and the next column you have to write its respect to function for example mouth you have to write here one mouth here you have to write the function of mouth what it is useful in chewing the food entering into the mouth then next liver liver provides the digestive juices like this you have to tablet tablate all the parts and its functions from digestive system here you will get how many parts mouth food pipe stomach liver small intestine and large intestine five or six will be coming you have to write it and send it to me when you will send it before night you have to send it to me okay so i hope you all understood about what i have taught today if you have any doubts you can ask me uh, join the zoom session for your doubts in the next class we can learn about this respiratory system the three systems left respiratory system uh, circulatory system and excretory system this we can learn in the next class so that's all for today's class we can meet in the next class thank you students have a nice day